everyone, welcome back to the three hour news show and this is the signature segment, see the stories. Yes. We like our favorite segment. Yeah, and here we share inspirational stories, fun stories as well because this is already the last segment so we yes. don't want to waste your energy to think too much. Yes, to have <laughs> Even fun, we right? cook on some days, right? Yeah, we cook and yeah. we made ourselves fun as well. Funny. We're going to discuss <laughs> yeah. about balloon and about the shooting of, yeah. you know, the balloon from American aerospace, but we're going to talk about a student that has become viral lately in Indonesia. Yeah, that's right. Social heard, media right? sphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's viral because he's very, you know, good looking, a bit different. I thought he was yeah. Korean. He looked Korean, I think. Yeah. And then he suddenly yeah. had the news all over Indonesia yep. talking about him yep. and saying that he's the president of one faculty in yep. Columbia University. Yeah, it's SIPA so. faculty. That's ah, right. So yeah. his name is. Deris Nagara, and we will talk with him later. But before that, let's take a look at who he actually is. Deris Nagara was born in Chiamis, Indonesia, and never passed the entrance exam to any public university in the country. However, he remained undaunted and decided to try his luck in several higher learning institutions, namely the London School of Public Relations, or LSPR, President University and Hoge School van Arnhem and Nij Megan. Mm. Wow, that's a very nice accent. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it, Alia. <laughs> to everyone's surprise, he received a master's scholarship from the Education Fund Management Institute or LPDP. Yeah. To study at Columbia University in the U.S. Yes, and what's more amazing is that he is the first Indonesian student to become the president of the School of International and Public Affairs, or SIPA, in Columbia University this year. So this is like the president of the student union yeah. there, yes. right? So we the have faculty of SIPA. The faculty of SIPA. We're going to make it clear okay. with um, with this gentleman, uh, Darius. We're going to talk with him later. Yes. Hi, Darius. Are you with us? Oh, he's with us already. Hi, Hi. I'm uh -huh. there. How are you? There you are. Hi. 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 Yes. Good morning from New York City. Ah, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I hope you you miss Indonesia, <laughs> but thank you for waking up quite uh, early. What time is morning. it now in New York? Um, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Okay. I have to wake up early around four and then i didn't sleep at all actually oh wow oh, so thank you for you all the very busy wow oh did you prepare for this interview <laughs> i just oh of course of course oh, of course okay. oh, okay. Okay. Thank, so thank you thank you so much for the sacrifice and all the preparation yeah. so first of all many people say that you are the president of the student executive board of columbia university uh, is that true or you are actually the the president of the sipa Student Michael Union. So yes. this is quite, um, you know, um, confusing to some of our viewers, and we need um, clarification from you. Yeah. Um, sure. Um, before that, I would like to say thank you very much. Such an honor for me to be here. And hi, hope you are doing well. So to make it clear, I'm the president of CIPASA, a school of international public affairs mm -hmm. student association. So it's one faculty in Columbia University, and because of this, is you know, a school of international public affairs talking about public policy international affairs and politics and it's more look like a student government here so yeah that's the clear wow. right right uh, so right. sipa is very competitive and yep. many students around the world also went to sipa including yep. a friend of mine mm. yep. and also tasha if i'm mistaken tasha Ludmila also went to sipa yeah. and um you know some of my friends as well go to sipa and my husband went to sipa or oh your husband <laughs> oh, oh, okay. to SIPA. Right, everybody SIPA right. now everybody, yeah. SIPA. everybody yeah. goes to sipa so how do you feel being the you know the leader of student union at this faculty mm. Um, truly an honor and very grateful to hold this position because like um, as a person who have a deep interest and passion you know for intercultural exchange leaders of quality and community engagement I have dedicated my life to advancing in the field of youth empowerment and community development education since 2013 so from you know Chiami is a small town in West Java and now Chiamis to the world and I would like to advocate more on how to providing the community engagements and education quality and youth empowerment as well um, from the local perspective into the international one and here I am um, to provide with more than nine years of experiences as a youth leader in empowerment and community development with full compassion and passion to become um, the first president of you know the students councils 
our student executive body uh, in Columbia University from Indonesia. So I'm thrilled to be honored, wow. and I think this is for Indonesia too, because it's the first time for Indonesia to yeah. hold these positions. Okay. I mean, looking at your, uh, not CV, I don't have your CV on hand, but I mean, you're all over the media, right? Yes. Uh, so you're a dancer, <laughs> you're a content creator, and suddenly you took the double C's from T Amis to Columbia, right? Now becoming the president of CEPA yeah. faculty. That's amazing. Yeah. So why do Thanks. you want to be CEPA president? I mean, is there any specific uh, mission? Um, there is, yes, specific mission because, like, as we know, CPA encompasses diverse, exceptional, and sophisticated students from all over the world. Mm -hmm. My friends once called CPA as an airport because, like, everyone is there. We can see everyone around the world in CPA. Mm -hmm. And CPA as a CPA student body and to improve the overall student experiences at CPA. This mm -hmm. will become a platform to pour my compassions and passions into the empowerments and development of the CPA community. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned before, I have dedicated my life to advancing the field of the youth empowerment, community developments, and education quality since 2013, which uh, there's one of a local organization which is called Mojang Jajakachi Amis and also oh. Forum Generasi Berencana. That is one recognized local organizations and forum in Indonesia has driven me to participate directly in policy making and on field initiatives. And I brought the philosophy of unity in diversity, which is Bineka Tunggal Ika, into the platform. So during my campaign as a president, president of SIPASA, I brought um, my campaign's name, Unity in Diversity for our community, which I believe that you know, I would like to echo the voices of the student itself through various activities and echoing their voice on certain causes and advocacy and collaboration together with all the students' organization with the hope to bring inclusive change for, you know, within us as one SIPA community, united as one. All right. I so see. That so, uh, yeah. Of the reason. Your motives are for uh, human development, community building, uh, all about uh, related to social issues too, right? And, and supporting sustainable development sure. goals. And uh, so, um, we heard that you also were rejected by several Indonesian universities while you're here. And uh, then you were admitted to Columbia University. Can you tell us how did you get there? Okay, sure. So, it's um, throwback in 2000. I think 2015, yes. So after I graduated from my high school in Chiamis, SMR and Dua Chiamis, and also I did student exchange in Australia, in Melbourne, in Patterson Rivers Secondary College, um, one of my dream was becoming a doctor. Oh. And I took several like, ex you know, exams and trends, and there was like SNMPTN, SBMPTN, like national exams and trends for the university entrance. Um, to UNPAD, to UI, but I didn't get it. And even though, like, you know, uh, from this Amsterdam pattern, it's also dedicated for students who have highest um, achievements and academic performance in the school. And at the time, I was ranked first in my senior high school, mm -hmm. and my national exams score is also ranked first. But maybe that is not my destiny and fate. Maybe it's you know, God has another plan for me. So at the time, I tried to find myself like how, you know, to find why and how I would let like you do something. And I found myself, I think I want, you know, to enrich the life of Indonesians and I want to use my voice for the voiceless and, you know, raising social issues. And looking back to my journey as a youth leader for more than nine years at the time, I feel like um, maybe there is something that I have to do instead of, you know, be, instead to become a doctor. So mm -hmm. I talked to my mom and dad that I think I want to pursue international relations study program and one of the you know, private university in Indonesia, it is mm. called President University, which I also got the full scholarship in that university. But then, you know, there was a debate between the public and private school at the time. Mm. So, but then, you know, my, my situation at the time, my family faced economic struggles and challenges. So I think it is better for me to find another way. And I do believe that, you know, this is the God plan for me. And yeah. it doesn't mean that I'm not the yeah. best at the program. Maybe it's just there will there will be another better place for me from God. So I tried to pursue my program in that sense. Right. So I got into the international relations in Preston University and then during the time, I continue my programs and doing several international programs and agenda and doing okay. still the youth empowerment. The 2021, and I ent entered the CPA application to Columbia University right. with Alpine Scholarship. 
Derek, that's very comprehensive. I'd like to ask you on a lighter note, are you a K-pop lover? <laughs> because you look Korean. <laughs> yeah, you look Korean. Yeah. Or do people or yes, ask that I am a K-pop lover. Well, and I, used to, yes, but. I used to be... I used to be one of the boy band member in Indonesia. You used oh, to be a boy yeah, member. I read about oh, that as wow. well. <laughs> that's why. That's the reason why yep, yep. his skin is so, you know, so flawless fine. and glowing. Yeah, so flawless. flawless and glowing. Right, but you know, this is <laughs> yeah. this actually this um, question leads me to another question. So, yeah. um, you know, I believe that you were chosen as the ambassador of ASEAN Korea um, Youth Ambassador. Mm -hmm. So, tell us more about that and how did you get chosen? to be the ambassador and you know what's your agenda for that is it because of your looks <laughs> of course not no, no. only looks <laughs> <laughs> totally not because of my looks <laughs> so uh it's remembering the time in 2020 mm. so i was chosen as the youth leader and the official representative of indonesia delegations from the ministry of youth and sport indonesia and also asean to represent indonesia at the asean korea frontier forum 2020 in busan mm -hmm. um so at the time i was representing indonesia to present um and also provide the policy recommendation for people to people exchange in terms of advancing the social policy and economic developments and education quality uh between asean member states and also south korea at the time uh, to advance globally um, and then I also joined one of the competition and for the first time Indonesia also won the best delegate and it was representing by me and uh, so we won the first uh, award which is the best delegate in that model as in career summit so mm -hmm. later on I also going back to Indonesia and it's COVID era and because I also love you know, ASEAN and also um, South Korea culture. So I would like to, you know, to enhance um, this cultural exchange between um, ASEAN member states and also Korean at the time. Mm. And um, in 2020, I joined several organizations, uh, sorry, uh, competitions. Uh, for example, like ASEAN Korea Debate Championship, ASEAN Korea Youth Startup Challenge, ASEAN Korea Political Security Forum, which the same organiza organizer, which is ASEAN Exchange Association or AEA, and also um, the government of Korea at the time. Mm. Um, and this has expanded my standpoint how to understand the global policy making process and also regarding international affairs to see you know, the to have the better community incorporations between ASEAN members and ROK. And last month, in uh, on the 31st January, uh, I got selected to become ASEAN Korea Youth Ambassadors, mm. um, which also the main goals is to promote the cultures and also the cooperation right. among ASEAN member states also korea right. and how to apply that actually it was like a mm. long process and applications mm -hmm. but yeah i'm so honored wow. to become one of the asean korea youth ambassadors and also one of the candidates for the president of asean korea alumni so Network. that's there a is, great list yeah. of achievement Derek. Yeah, so wow. Ale, it has nothing to do with the looks okay it does, yeah nothing because to do with he it. has invested yes. so much and yeah. you know in that a position in that capacity mm -hmm. as the ambassador and he has yes. achieved a lot and right? he has a passion for it yeah no, so talking about passion and also you are very much exposure uh, exposed to international uh, exposures and yeah. international uh, experiences mm -hmm. outside mm -hmm. so my question would be your pursuit of opening more uh, youth development you know mm -hmm. opportunities what would you say to our president Joko Widodo in order to to make sure that you can make that into realization Sure. Um, so it is like open letter. <laughs> <laughs> An open letter. An open letter. Open yeah. letter. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so it just based on my experiences. So mm -hmm. throughout my journey um, in 2019, and also for more than nine years, I've become the youth leader at for doing the youth empowerment programs, and I travel uh, across Indonesia from Sumatra and Papua, and suddenly realizing um, and speaking that there are still some of the inequality of youth empowerments and opportunities, and also the inequality of education quality systems and also infrastructures in mm. Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And when I motivate and give aspirations to the students there and talk to them and listen to them, mm. I ask them, what do you want to do to have a proper, when you have a proper education? And throughout these sessions and moments, they just say to me like, I just want to help my community. I just want to help my parents. I just want to grow up and make my dreams to be come true, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. It's so, also, it's so what my would heart you say? And, yeah, yeah. What would you ask yeah, or say to my him? my heart. So, 
So at a time, so I think it is better to have more, you know, the youth engagement and partnership collaboration between civil societies, NGOs, or governments. And also, I think uh, Ministry of U.S. Sport already also opened the program for the entrepreneurship and mentorship. Wow. I, but then I think because Indonesia is actually a good country and there are so many provinces and districts, it is better to be more inclusive and you know to have um, just all the empowerment communities and also infrastructure mm -hmm. to all Indonesians. Um, localizations and you know to every district in Indonesia. Yeah, yeah at, so it's at least so well because, distributed. Like, yes, right? yeah, we can we can uh, okay. pretty much the conclude on what what you want to do uh, is uh, related to uh, human equality, mm -hmm. also uh, quality of education, yes. and of course uh, some yeah, other sure. issues that you are passionate at. Uh, so um, we're gonna play games. So now yeah. we want to have fun with you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I want to invite you to uh, exactly. play a little game, right? Eric, because we want to maximize your time. You have woken yes. up since yeah. 4 a.m. Yes. So we just yeah. don't want to let no, you go yet. No, he didn't sleep last night. Oh, did? Oh, oh wow. Sleep. Wow. Okay, let's maximize his okay. time then. I yes. hope you can still pick. This is not about maths or physics or not. some integral formulas with or cost international and international affairs. No. Yeah, 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 international yeah, yeah, affairs. Yeah. This is something just to play uh, to to give us some fun. All right, and yes. to also. So, uh, you give you a, a you know opportunity to have fun as well. Yes, right. just right. relax. <laughs> yes. So, um, what you need to do is to answer. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Number one, Columbia University is in top ten best global university. Where is the rank of Columbia University? Oh, for. The International Policy Affairs and International Affairs for SIPA is number one uh -huh. in the global policy and global universities. But then in the top 10 of Columbia University itself, I think is around three or two. Because some of the indicators are always different. Okay, every and it can differ from. Um, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I right, agree. Right, because right. there so, are QS ranking yeah. and there's yes. the PH, the higher education yeah. ranking based yeah. in the UK. There are many, many, um, many indicators, um, right? Studies, right? Yes. So according to US News, Columbia University sits at number seven position. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 All, right. All right. So yeah. I'd like to ask you to test whether you really understand your university or not. So yeah. how many faculties <laughs> does Columbia University currently have? Oh, wow. Well, this is about so math. Wow. Yeah. There are so many faculties. And uh, how there well do you know Columbia? Yeah. Um, I think faculties is more than it's more than 15, so you're about 16 or 17. Yes, yeah. you got it right. It's 16. It's 16. 16 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because First. in postgraduate program, there are so many faculties, like 10 or 12. I see. And now from bachelor, right. yeah. it could be 16. And uh, the third question Who is the Consul General of Republic Indonesia in New York? Wow. Ooh. We call what? it Congen. The, con the Congen. Yeah. Congen of Indonesia in New York. Oh, the place? Yeah, the no, no, the no, person. No, no, the, 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 the person. Persons, the person yeah. representing a consul. What would we know? <laughs> Consulate <laughs> General know? in New York. This is a tricky question for you. The Consulate General in oh. New York. Yes. Yes. The Consulate? The Gen Consul General, the consul general, general of, of Republic of Indonesia. Indonesia in New York. Yes. Oh, oh Bapa, there are two actually. Uh, Wait, Are wait, you wait. googling his okay. name? You're not allowed to Google. Oh, no. This is not the ambassador. I can it's not the ambassador. Okay. okay. His name is. Uh, pa 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 Winato Adi. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. You got it right again. Because, because like in in New York, um, there are three the um the representative. There are mm. first for the congen yeah. KBRI, and also in congen there is PRI. So yeah. there there's kind of you know. Ah, I see. Yeah, there's a... Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, did you answer it yourself or somebody whispered at you? <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course he answered himself. Of course he did. Oh my he did goodness. his research. But whatever. you know, if I was asked this question, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know like, How would I know? Uh, I don't know because we don't live there. <laughs> but okay, but we okay. know who's, the answer now. Who's the uh, mayor of central Jakarta? Where your... Where your oh office God. is situated in. You don't know, right? I don't know. It's very tricky. Yeah, it's very yeah, tricky. Yeah, yeah. It's a tricky, tricky question. Okay. Right. Fourth question, Rory. <laughs> okay. So um, I'd like to ask you this um, question, and I believe you can answer this. Yeah. What is the name of the Indonesian students in the United States um, community? Oh, that's easy. Yeah. That's easy, right? 
Oh, me for me, yes. Yay! What does it stand for? What stand does for? it stand yeah, for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Huh? And, uh, what does it stand for, Permias? Permias, Persatuan Mahasiswa Indonesia di Amerika Serikat. Yay! Yay! Got it right again. Because yeah. all and, uh, my the, the, the are last, Permias. Last, huh? last question, may I? Yeah, no, okay. last question. Yeah, who is the governor of the state of New York? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God! Uh, not allowed to Google. Not allowed to Google. <laughs> you have to use your sense. Uh, I think it's from the Democratic Party of Carrie Hochul. Yes. yes, you got it right. right. Yeah. right. Okay, yes. Yay. very last question. Who <laughs> was her predecessor? Oh, my oh. God. Oh, no way. Sorry, that's a tough no question. Way. And what caused him to step <laughs> And what caused him to step <laughs> down? Yeah, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, that's too far, that's too far. That's too far. No, 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 just no, like to have far. fun. Sorry yeah, about but, our and silliness. Andrew Cuomo or Chris Cuomo? Cuomo, yeah. Cuomo, Cuomo. right? Andrew, yeah, yeah. Um, Andrew, yeah. Chris Cuomo is um, his brother, his now the Do you know that his CNN. family tree or something? <laughs> <laughs> his brother was for CNN. Yeah. Anyway, right. Derek, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much, Darius, and wish you best of luck. Thank you. Thank Especially, you so much, Darius. Thank you so much. It's such an honor for me to be here and talk to you. Your sacrifice and, yeah, for not sleeping pays off. Finally. Pays off. You did the answers oh, correct. Oh my yes. God. <laughs> Good luck on your future endeavor. Yeah. Thank you so much. Likewise. Take care and, you know, Hope everything will be okay. Thank you, Bye. Derek. Bye. 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 Bye.